powerful regimes crumble to dust when leaders fail to look after their own people and that is exactly what should have happened in Slovakia if the Slovak PM Edward Heger continued with his blind support for the EU. However, it does look like the current protests against the ruling government and the demand to call in early elections have made the PM realize the faults in his prior actions. As a result, he has reportedly taken some steps that will indeed shock the EU. Hi and welcome to TFI Global. I am your host Ananya Sharma. If you are watching us on YouTube, please hit the share button and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you are watching us on Facebook, do like the video and subscribe to the page. You can also download our video apps. The link is given below in the description section. Marek Senkovic, the CEO of Slovnaft, the largest oil refiner in Slovakia, has stated that they will continue to sell Russian oil in the domestic market even after its exemption from the EU's ban expires by the end of next year. You see, Slovakia was exempted from the embargo on the import of Russian crude oil because of its tremendous dependence on Russian crude oil to function. But Slovnaft wants to continue even after the exemption runs out, said Senkovic. The Slovak leaders have realized that they cannot function without the support of Russia. Moreover, increasing resistance at home has forced them to look for a balanced approach. Senkovic said in an interview, condition is that we can't process more Russian crude oil in future calendar years than what we will produce from it for the domestic market. As a result, the Slovak administration found a loophole which would allow them to import Russian crude oil and not invite resistance from the EU. Let's understand the whole business in detail. Slovaks use only 40% of the oil they produce and export the rest 60% to foreign buyers. Therefore, the administration is allowed to import enough crude oil that could quench the thirst of the domestic market. However, they would have to diversify their sources for the rest that is, for the purposes of export and that orchestrates other problems. Slovakian refineries are not capable of refining crude oil qualities other than the Russian and would need repurposing to make that happen. This could cost the administration approximately 200 million euros. One of the reasons why the PM took an anti-EU stand is because his country is not able to go on bearing the losses from the looming energy crisis. Slovakia's Prime Minister Eduard Heger has claimed that rising electricity bills have pushed his country's economy at a risk of total collapse. Also, Slovakian newfound guts to act against the EU can be attributed to the recent betrayal by the EU leadership. For those who don't know, Slovakia produces a sizable amount of nuclear and hydroelectric energy. As the greatest energy crisis of the century started knocking on the doors of the EU, in a heroic move, Slovakia's largest energy supplier decided to sell off its extra electricity to energy traders at the beginning of the Ukraine war. The twist in this story came later when Slovakia also started feeling the brunt of the Ukraine war. The same traders in neighboring nations that had purchased Slovakian energy are now asking Bratislava to sign energy deals that are five times costlier than market rates. Edwards stated, Slovaks are purchasing the same energy they sold for 100 euros for 500 euros. Surprisingly, Edward has even warned the EU that Slovakia would stop listening to EU diktats if Brussels fails to help them. Reportedly, the PM has said, European Commission's plan for 140 billion euro windfall tax on power generators in the bloc would not work in Slovakia. The betrayal seems to have thrown cold water on the sleeping Slovakian leader and has finally shown him the true colours of the EU leadership.